Hello, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. That is right, we are starting a new series in Warhammer 2. So yeah, that is uh, something new to the channel and uh, I really wanted to include it because I really... Well, I, I bought it, I played it, I enjoyed it, so I want to do it. Right, so that being said, I don't know a lot about Warhammer 2. I haven't really played it that much. Uh, I don't know anything about the Warhammer universe. I'm a rookie, but uh, I don't think I'm a Total War rookie, so I think it's going to be interesting here. Now, I bought the Mortal Empires as well. I also bought a expansion for the Empire, which is the Marcus Wolfheart campaign, but that's not what we're going to do today. What we are going to do today is a... First of all, let's start a brand new campaign. Man, I am excited for Warhammer 2. It's not like, I mean, I don't know anything about the Warhammer universe, so everything I do is kind of new. And I've spent, I've spent some, hour, some hours just familiarizing myself with how the game feels and plays and looks and, and the different factions that there are. And to be honest, I don't know everything about these factions. As a matter of fact, I know very little about these factions, but I've played around, I've fiddled around with them for a bit. So, I don't really know how this works, but I do know that I like Mortal Empires more than I like the Eye of the Vortex. Um, that being said, I also believe that Mortal Empires is kind of part one and Eye of the Vortex is part two, although they are two different stories, I believe. I'm not really sure what that is uh, what that is about, but I do know that this is Warhammer 1 and this is Warhammer 2, right? Not sure about that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure about that at all. Anyway, let's dive into it. We are going to start a uh, Empire campaign as well, Emperor Karl Franz. That being said, I also want to start doing this on everything as hard as it can be, because I am a Warhammer rookie, but I am not a Total War rookie, so I think it's going to be very interesting. There's a couple of things I learned already, uh, but uh, I think this is going to be very interesting. I've, I've, I've done the first couple of turns of this campaign, but uh, once we reach turn, I don't know, 12 or 13 or something like that, that's where things get, well, uh, new for me as well. Right, enough talking, uh, let's just start the campaign. Oh man, I'm excited. And one thing that excites me most is that I just, I don't know a lot about Warhammer. I haven't, like, I I don't, I don't even, I'm not even sure what Warhammer is. Uh, like, is it, is it kind of this, no, I, I'm not even going to guess. I'm not even going to guess. I just know that I enjoy it very much. And let's leave it at that. Because it's a, it's a brand new universe we can explore together. Well, maybe not together. You probably know more about Warhammer than I do, but it's a brand new universe that I can explore at least. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about that. You just encounter these these weird creatures and these weird factions and weird schools of magic. or I think it's called different. I, I'm not sure. But uh, I think that's very, very exciting. And there's also a lot of, a lot of uh, hints towards like real stories, real factions, real, you know... Real, because when I when I look at the empire, I, I see kind of like this Holy Roman Empire vibe uh, to it, and I really enjoy that. There's these um, these little uh, these little winks towards other cultures and stuff, so I think that's really cool. The newly crowned emperor returned from a tour of Reichland to find his capital Old Dorf besieged by spider riding. Yeah, that's what I mean, like spider riding greenskins. Look, I'm a I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and um, I know this isn't Lord of the Rings, but I mean it's it, it's got the same kind of fantasy taste to it, and I really enjoy that. That being said, for those of you who are on my channel for historical Total War titles, uh, there will still be historical Total War titles. I enjoy both. Threat is extinguished, sire. It's hard to believe, but um, to secure your rule it's actually possible to enjoy both. <laughs> the empire is beset by civil war once more. Secessionists hostile to your election as emperor are trying to form a breakaway province to the south. Advance, crush them, and bring the lands back to your sovereign rule. To the north, Boris Todbringer of Middenheim, a bitter rival in the recent election, is openly hostile. A clash with Todbringer and the wolves of Middenland may well be unavoidable if you wish to unify the empire. Plan for this eventuality. The Empire has ever been besieged by foes, but you are a prince of Altdorf. Greatness runs in your very blood. Make the Heldenhammer proud. Alrighty, there we are. How they play. I've actually read this. Uh, so... Uh, just to clarify a bit what I know and what I don't know, I have played every faction. 
um, just just a bit. And when I say played, I mean I have tried them in custom battles. So I don't know about buildings a lot. I don't know. I I, I mean I know about factions like the Skaven. I know about vampire lords or vampire counts, I believe. Um, I know, I know some stuff. I'm not I'm not a total rookie, but well maybe I am a total rookie. Let's just assume I'm a total yes. rookie here. Um, but I, I thought it was important to start fiddling around with them uh, just just a bit because um, I can't do this blind. I'm playing on legendary, right? So I don't really want to do this blind. Uh, but I still want to. I still want there to be things to discover with you guys. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. I don't know. I'm just I'm. Uh, we let's fight this manually because I don't want to lose too many men. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, oh, I need to stop talking. I'm just so excited for this new for this new let's play. I'm just, I can't talk anymore. So let's do less talking and more playing. <laughs> That's a bit of a uh, bit of a war band war band reference there. Less talking and more playing. Of course, it's raining there, but uh, well, we're not really. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But yeah, excited for a new universe to explore. Now, one thing I've noticed doing uh, custom battles is that I don't know if this is a difficulty thing. Uh, it might be, it might not be. What do we have here? Let's um, get them off skirmish mode. Put them over here. We'll put Carl Franz in front of them because France could tank them, basically. And then if need be, we can send in these guys. But first, first we need to do a lot of missile damage, basically. Because one thing I've learned already is that, and I don't think this is um, difficulty bound, but one thing I've learned is that infantry is good for crowd control, but they're not really good for just fighting, right? This this is not Troy. Um, this is Warhammer 2. So, like the 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 infantry is good for um, the infantry is good for crowd control, but the real the real damage dealers are the missile units. Or, or heroes, maybe. Maybe later, like, captains and stuff like that, but... Yeah. I feel like the, the real damage dealer is the, uh, are the missile troops. And it's, it's also a really good thing... It's also a really good way to thin the herd before they arrive, right? But that's what I've found so far. I'm, I'm not sure if this is true. Now, they seem to have one missile unit. Um, let's see if we can break that one off. Somehow. By maybe, maybe having them fire at us. Uh, no, because the rest will just... No, I think the rest will just um, try and defend them. But we'll see. No, they are stopping. No, they're not. Yeah, they are stopping. No. What are you doing, you missalman? Yeah, look at this. This is what I want to see. This seems great. If we can keep them here, then at some point we can probably just attack them with these um, Reichsguards. Reichsguard, yes indeed. Also, I've played around with artillery. It was very satisfying. It was a very, very satisfying experience. So, just putting it out there. As soon as we can get some artillery, I'd like, I'd like them, please. Especially the um, the organ things. The um, I want to say Stalin organ, but St Stalin organ. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> this is Warhammer. I don't think that is correct. But yeah, what the? Uh, nah, I don't know. I'll, I'll show them to you later. I'll show them to you later. Okay, let's move France up, up a bit. Okay, good. We got their, uh, we got their units. That's good. Victory is in our grasp already. We've even broken off another piece there. Okay, let's just do this and this. I'd like you to fire on these guys, please, and I'd like you to fire on these guys. You should probably get them in as well. Uh, I kind of like that this to take as long as possible. Can you do something? You can do something. I'll read. I'll read what it is later. Let's just do this, take them back a bit. Okay, France isn't doing really well, but I think we just need to level him up, get him more uh, defense and stuff. I believe these guys are really shocky. Yeah, shock cavalry. So let's uh, shock their backside, shall we? Let's take a look at that as well. 
Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That is so bloody beautiful. Yeah, they don't stand a chance anymore. Uh, are we doing right here? Nope, we are not. How about you get into that flank real quick? And you need to move. Okay, they are fleeing. That's great. Now let's fire at that back. This seems great. Uh, is he fleeing already? He's not fleeing. France is taking a lot of damage though. Can I call you France? I can probably call you France. Emperor call France. Yeah. Okay, let's have these Reichsguard follow them. Um, we'll have the... Oh, is that army losses? I think it is army losses. Yeah, that's army losses. Okay, I need to... Um, I need to get used to... How a couple of these things feel. So I've, been, I've been playing a lot of... Um, I've been playing a lot of Troy in the meantime. Should we kill him? Not sure. But yeah, I, I feel like these guys are very, very strong. I feel like they do a lot of damage. I mean, look at that. It's fine. I don't think we lost many men. Uh, we lost 19 men. I can live with that. But Karl Franz took a lot of damage. Yeah, the Emperor took a lot of damage. Now, I don't know any uh, lore behind these guys. I'd like to know that. I, I will probably, like, in between playthroughs, uh, dig up some lore about these guys and just check, like, what, what did they do? Where did they come from? What's the story behind them? But if you guys have interesting stories about about um, any of these characters or any of these, um, of these units, um, do let me know in the comments, because uh, I'm really interested. So... Yeah. And I'll probably also watch some videos or something. Because I think it's interesting. I like uh, I like a universe like this. And I also don't really... Because I've, I've heard people say that there's, uh, that there's this relationship be between uh, Warhammer and 40k... And I just don't understand that. I, I don't understand what that's about. Um, okay, yeah, I do know about the Imperial Authority system, so that's great. Uh, I also know that it can be very, very, very annoying. Because <laughs> um, basically we'll get random events, and these events will take authority from us, or give us authority. And we will spend authority on things as well, uh, such as confederating. Um, I've learned that the hard way, guys. I've learned it the hard way, like, really the hard way. So, yeah. Because I've, I've done... Um, I've done a little bit of play... I, I, I don't remember what turn I was on, but I've done a little bit of playing with the Empire. I've done a little bit of playing with other factions as well, and uh, I do know that things can spiral out of control very rapidly, and before you know it, you'll have a civil war on your hands, so that is uh, not great. Let's uh, let's let's look at this gap. I think this is a nice gap, and then we'll put these guys over here like this. Although they'll have a hill over here, uh, maybe push them back a bit. I kind of want to keep France out of this one, to be honest, because he's quite damaged already. So, okay, let's move these guys forward. See what see what we're dealing with. It seems like they don't have any missile units, which is good for us, I guess. So let's see what's going to happen here. And now we'll read about what this is. So, right, it affects allies in range. He'll cast it on himself. It will give them more melee attack and more leadership. That is pretty good, I guess. Although leadership can work against you as well. But yeah, for now, I, th I think... Okay, yeah, they don't they don't see them. That's why uh, that's why they're moving towards there. Let's just move our cavalry over to here. And we'll fast forward a bit because we don't need to... We don't really need to... Uh, wait for this like this and there we go that's the first couple of kills in yeah look at that i'm i'm very very happy with that now we will move these guys forward a bit because they probably have to tank this for a while and i'm not sure whether i want to call france in here at all so maybe we'll send you forward we'll send you in in here like this we'll send you in here like this uh he'll be flanked though but we have cavalry coming around Okay, this looks good. We, we're doing a bit of a sandwich here. And we'll just have France over here. He doesn't really have to do anything. Um, okay, that looks good. We'll go around them. We'll, we'll make sure that they attack them from the flank, which is too bad, but it is what it is. But we'll be able to do a single charge. Right? 
Yep, looking good. It's going to be very bad for their morale as well. So that is great. Uh, these guys seem to be losing, so let's have these guys firing on them for now. And we could get France in, but don't think we should. They seem to be losing. Victory is in our grasp already. No, keep, uh, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, let's put France in there as well. Uh, I think these guys are losing, but that's not going to take long because as soon as these guys start firing at them, then uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna take a lot of casualties there. So that is good. And these guys are winning. That is great. Let's uh, pull these guys out of here for now and do another charge against these guys. So we'll set up there. Um, okay, good. We got them over here. So this is also the moment that these guys can probably start firing at them, and these guys can probably start firing at their backside, and we'll give them a bit of a breather. Uh, although, don't stand in the way of these guys shooting at them. Ready? Are you ready? Get in. That's not a good charge, guys. What the hell are you doing? Get out. Get out. You're taking losses. Pull them out. Come on. Uh, they have archers. Wow. How about we go back a bit? You fire at the archers. How about you turn around? You get them as well. Okay, that looks good. That's not going to be good for morale, so that's good. Okay, they seem to be fleeing or something. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. We need to put them off. Uh, I always forget that. I have the same issue with uh, with Troy. I always forget to put them off um, skirmish mode. Out. I would like to kill their lord. Let's have these missiles form up. And maybe uh, fire at this guy. There we go. That's a dead lord. <coughs> Get him out, please. Okay, it seems like firing at their flank is pretty good. They took a lot of losses. Now get them. I think we got them, guys. Yeah, we got them. Good. Good. We're not losing any units yet. Uh, France really needs to replenish. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with these numbers. So another thing that I've noticed is that siege battles, uh, we can probably do those the Attila way. So for those of you who have seen my uh, Attila uh, Let's Play, uh, I've been playing on the Western Roman Empire for a while now. I think we're at episode 70, 70 72, 73 or something. And um, usually when I do sieges, I just put my units into Testudo and... Well, tank their ammunition basically, or waste their ammunition when there's uh, when there's uh, enemy artillery. We could just run around with horses. Uh, let's occupy this. Just run around with horses, let them fire on them, and um, just just basically waste their ammunition, stuff like that. Your burgeoning realm grows, your eminence. Uh, and I've noticed that in Warhammer 2, you can actually do the same thing, and it's really effective. It's really effective. As long as you have artillery of your own to get rid of their towers. Okay, so here, um, there's some really good stuff over here, but these are kind of like the manage management kind of things. And there's one thing here that's Lightning Strike, which is basically the same thing as Night Battles. Um, that could be a lifesaver. That could be a bloody lifesaver. So we should move towards Lightning Strike. Uh, it would also be really good to make sure that Call France has uh, these card veteran and full plate armor and hard to hit and stuff like that. There's also some really good stuff uh, over here. I've taken a look at it already, but I think the first thing we need to do is... Oh yeah, and we want pistol corps, and probably if we go artillery, we probably also want imperial gunnery. 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, ooh, Deathclaw. I've done that. I've, I've had uh, Deathclaw in a, a custom battle, I believe. It's a Griffin. Ish. Griffin thing. Ish. Or a Pegasus? I don't know. I think it's a, Gl I think it's a Griffin. Uh, it says it. Griffin. There we go. Imperial Griffins. Um, but for now, we need to uh, we need to move towards uh, these because log logistician is really good as well. More replenishment means that you can move faster, basically. Not literally move faster on the campaign map, but uh, you'll spend less time replenishing and stuff like that. So that is very good. Uh, and then we also want to have uh, stuff like that. Yeah, stu stuff, uh, stuff like this, Root Marcher and stuff like that. So let's let's go for Root Marcher. More public order, more recruit, uh, less recruitment costs, and we have less attrition and more untainted. I'm not really sure how the untainted thing works yet, but I feel like it's the same as in Troy, where you have these cultures. Um, so, for example, I believe that Skaven, for example, spreads like plague or something, uh, so, something like that. I, I don't know, or corruption, maybe. Sp Skaven corruption, I think that's it. So, but for now, let's go for... Um, Hmm, what do we do here? I mean, recruitment cost is fine, but the ideal situation is that we don't really have to recruit much. Because we recruit units once, and we never we, like we never have to re-recruit them. So, I think attrition would even be better in this case. Let's go for attrition. And speaking of recruit... Uh, wait, that's not what I want. Uh, can we do this? No. Speaking of recruitment, let's get some recruits. Um... And I think we'll just want more missile units. And these come with the uh, Wolfheart DLC, by the way. Because I didn't have them before, but ideally we want more crossbowmen. But let's just go for three of these right now. I think we also want to get another Lord out. I know it's going to do something about our income, but... We need to take Ubersreich. And I know that there's an army over there, because I've, I've done the first bit of this. So what we probably want to do is lay an ambush or something. So... Let's get another Lord. Let's get a uh, Huntsman General. You're tough. That's great. Let's get somebody Huntsman tough. General. And that's going to tank our income, which is not great, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to give you... Uh, wow. Okay. Um, pool. That's actually pretty good. So maybe we'll go for Experienced Hunter and Root Marcher. Okay, so he can't, he can't move right now, but he can move at some point. Uh, we also want to get this to level 2. So let's get started on that right away, because we want to get this to level 2 as well, so that we can get some crossbowmen. And also spearmen with shields and halberdiers and stuff like that. Also, research. Um, I believe that we need to grow as fast as we can. This would be really good, more ammunition. We can't do these, they're too expensive, and we also can't do this. Uh, so for now, we need to focus on growth, I think. So let's go for tithe for baits, uh, focus on growth for a bit. Also, let's let's check um, let's let's check uh, diplomacy. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is also an interesting thing. I went to war with Marienburg. Not a good idea. <laughs> that was not a good idea at all. So Kislev, I don't know you, but you might want to trade with us. So I'm okay with trading. I'm also a, no. Am I okay with a defensive alliance? I might be okay with that. No, I'd rather have some money now. We need to spend a lot of money on all kinds of stuff. So, we'll see if you want to pay us 900. Yeah, you do. Good. That is very good. Okay, let's check uh, the attitude again. So, Couron. Couron. Yeah, this is one of those nice links I uh, I, um, uh, I feel like. This is... It, it feels so French, and I really, I really enjoy that. Like, like high feudal French. You know what I mean. Do you wish the ladies favor? They are at war with Marienburg. And they're also at war with the Skull Smashers. We're also at war with them. Okay, do we want a trade agreement? It's just for 58. No, they reject it anyway, so. Don't have to worry about that. Um, so right now we just have to replenish, and I think we just go to the next turn. We have one Imperial Authority. Yeah, we really don't want this to fall, because if we reach the point of Civil War, that's just going to be horrible. Just horrible. And then we have this uh, Battle of Blood Pine Woods, and we get a Battle Wizard from that. And I think there's different schools of magic. 
Uh, I don't really remember what I got the last time, but I really enjoy these uh, cinematic battles. Same with, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I am going to compare Warhammer to other Total War games simply because they are Total War games. And Total War games are getting better and better and better, you know? it's it's. I mean, there's a couple of couple of things that I didn't really agree with, but... And, and still, my favorite Total War game is probably Rome 1, uh, which you will definitely see on the channel at some point, because uh, I really enjoyed that. And it's just nostalgia for me. Uh, establish a trade agreement with Nordland. I hope we can do that, but I'm, I'm not sure. Nordland. Do they want to trade? They might want to go for a non-aggression pack. No, they, they definitely don't want a non-aggression pack, then, then they also don't want to trade. So, what we do right now is, I believe we... Let's double-check this. I believe we need 25% to go into an ambush stance. Uh, where's the ambush stance? Is there no ambush stance here? Okay, let's get out. How about now? Ambush. So yeah, we need 25% movement range. So let's get into these for, uh, into these woods uh, and go over to here. Yeah. Step to it. And then we'll go into ambush stance, like so. They will then we move this guy to stand just in front of him to over here, the and then hopefully we can see what they have. Frankenwurter. Hans Frankenwurter. Right. Alrighty, Hans. What does the Emperor bid? So, and we'll use this guy to recruit. And then hopefully they'll take the bait. Do we need to do any... Uh, are we getting growth from this? Growth plus 30. Uh, let's check the building, browse, building browser. There's the building browser. What do we get from the normal food building... 20. Okay, so this is actually better for growth. Because we, we need to grow... Come on. Come on, Primus. Don't do this. We need to grow. And it would be really nice to have this wizard before we attack them. Um, but we'll have to see. Let's go to the next turn. I believe the, the start of this campaign is going to be fairly fast. But I don't know what we'll encounter later. I do know that we don't want to um, confederate people right away, because, like I said, the, the Imperial Authority can spiral out of control so quickly. Oh, there we go. There's the ambush. Okay, so the battle result will actually be a decisive victory, which is great. Um, and they don't seem to have a lot of missile units as well. Should we just auto-resolve this? I don't know. I think we can, to be honest. Let's just auto-resolve this. Yeah, good, nobody died. Uh, we'll take the... That's a bit of replenishment. No, we'll take the money. We need the money. But yeah, this was actually very good. This was very good. So we also replenished over that. Uh, and we got some... Uh, we got some levels. Uh, so let's just go for reassuring presence, because we need to uh, we need to do something with that. Should we attack Ubersreich right now, or should we go for the Battle of Bloodpine Woods first? I think we should go for the Battle of Bloodpine Woods. So, in order to do that, Someone we need to get out of ambush counts. stance. We're already out of ambush stance. Um, I don't really like the fact that they have so little health. Sir. But I think we can take it, because we'll ambush the them as well. And we have quite a bit of missile Emperor. units, so I am confident that we'll be able to do some something good here. And li I'd like to get this wizard in. So let's try it. Let's just try it. So I, I think we need to select here. France. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're saying it's going to be a valiant defeat. Aha. Uh -huh. Very interesting. I don't agree with them. I will try my best to uh, make it something else. <clears throat> Richter Weismund. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, these these are the artillery pieces I was talking about. I don't know what they're called. Let me uh let's can we if we hover over them, maybe at some point they will show us what they're called. I call them organ guns, but I don't think they are organ guns. Come men! It seems Todbringer sends his midden wolves across the Reich to test our metal. He seems to think that since my father's death. Reichland is weak, 
and we cower under our beds waiting for these Ulrich worshippers to save us from our woes. I say we Reichlanders are more than capable of defending ourselves. I say we show Todbringer's mongrels that Reichlander blood flows through our veins. We face the trespassers deep in the blood pines. Keep your wits, lads, for there is more than Ulrich's dogs in there. My father had to send the Rice Guard in to purge these woods of forest goblin filth more than once during his reign. Yet that is not what we face today. No! Today we send the Elector Count of Middenland a message that it is the House of Franz that protects the borders of Reichland! Wow, the voice acting is so bloody good. It's just ugh, amazing. It's just amazing. Okay, how do we do this? How do we approach this? First of all, don't forget, off of skirmish mode. We can't have them skirmish. So I believe their lord is sitting over there. Yep, he is. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay, Franz is a bit damaged. Actually, all our melee troops are a bit damaged. Are these the artillery pieces? These are the artillery pieces. So we need to send these, um, these Reichsguard knights over here. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's put them over here, and then we'll then we'll dive bomb in there. Uh, we'll we'll put Franz over here, and we'll probably form just just a big line of, of missile units like this. Uh, maybe maybe that's too much. Okay, put you over here. We'll put all of these guys over here. We'll put Franz in front of them, and they will just have to fire at them, I guess, from on top of the hill. And then we'll have these guys, we'll just put two two units over here so they can fire at their flank if need be. Uh, but we also need to get these guys over here, we'll just do this. And then maybe one more unit like this, and we'll have these guys stand over here so they can start firing at the, uh, at the enemy lord. So we need to do this quick once the battle starts. So let's have these guys selected. We'll start it, and we'll move these guys up. We'll move these guys up as well. Look at this, look at how beautiful this is. Wow, my god. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully... Okay, let's just do this. Boom. What are these? What are these? Okay, they're almost dead. So it doesn't matter what they are. It really doesn't matter. Oh, wow, yeah, they're, so their lord is breaking free here. Hopefully we can get another volley out, but then we might have to run. Okay, we could get another volley out. Let's run, let's run, because these guys are going to be bad for them. Let's just uh, do this, get these guys in there. How are we doing with the rest? Okay, we're doing fine, actually. Uh, this is going better than I expected it would go, to be honest. Okay, good, we got these guys in. Now they can turn around and start firing at the... Well, you know what, fire them for a bit. That's not great, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, these guys aren't done yet. The successionists approach the meeting, so... Oh, they have more men, okay, fine. Oh, in that case, turn around, and because these are... Mounted units, we kind of want to get rid of them, but they are mounted... They're pistoliers. Okay, so they're mounted missile units. The Empire Just fire missile at them. Troops. Kind of want to fire at him. Yes, sir. Okay, I think we're done here. We Let's turn these guys around. We serve the oh, we're not doing great right here. Yeah, these guys should keep firing at them. It would be great if we could... If we could get a shot out here. Okay, this is not great. Where's our men? Can we help them? We don't want to lose them. Get out, get out. Fire at him. Get these pistols out. Get you in. Okay, you two. Uh, actually, just stand over here. We'll keep these guys over there. You need to move. Oh, come on. Okay, at least they're being fired upon. I don't want to lose these, uh... I don't want to lose those guys. Let's have these guys move in there. Uh, you probably... You are probably good for them. Okay, we're, we're firing at them, that's good. France. How about you do something about them? Fire them. You should fire them as well. Okay, it might have been enough, a bit more than I could chew. They're shaken. Okay, where's the, uh... There they are. 
France is winning, right? Yeah, he is good. Okay. Put, take, take him out of there. Move them out of there as well. Okay, they're almost fleeing, they're wavering, that's good. Fire at their flank. We'll just have these guys standing here in case we need them. Okay, let's pull France back a bit. You guys stand over here. These guys seem to be fleeing already, so that's good. Oh, damn it, I want these halberdiers out of there. I want these halberdiers out of there. Get, get out, get out. Get a volley out, come on. Ready for war. The nation, the 18 men, 17 men, get them out, get them out, get them out. 15. I don't know when the units get wiped out when the units get wiped out. Oh France, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I need to be a bit more careful here. Okay, we've got all them, that's good. Okay, I think we saved them. I don't really care about these spearmen, although I'd rather have these guys tank them. So this way we can... Uh, this way we can replenish at least for one turn. Okay, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. I think this is it, I think we did it. I think we did it. Woo! We did it, good. Okay, I am gonna kill this guy though. Okay, yeah, that was more tricky than I wanted it to be, but we did it. We did it. I didn't uh, I didn't expect them to have reinforcements somehow, but I don't I do think I fought this battle before. They are still calling it a heroic victory though. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, France. He, he was living on the edge there. <laughs> Poor France. I should uh, I should learn to take better care of these uh, of the heroes at least. Or the lords. Well, the lords, heroes, lords and heroes, because we don't want to lose them. He didn't die. That's good. And yeah, these melee units. I I don't really care about them to be honest. Because we can easily re-recruit them. They're just there for crowd control. I want the... Uh, I, I actually want all the... Um, I want all the missile units to get the experience right now. But we're going to replace these missile units at some point. Because these crossbowmen are just stronger. And eventually we'll have... Uh, we'll have a army full of pistols. Because I believe these uh, pistolmen are... Should we go for replenishment? They actually survived. Wow. We'll go for the money. Pick up the pace. Good, we did the blood of Battle of Blood Pine Woods there. That's good. And we got a wizard. What kind of wizard are you? A bright wizard. What can you do? Uh, I don't know what this is. There. Flame Storm. Can you do healing? I don't think so. Uh, I think you're, you're fire. All about fire. Yeah, you seem to be all about fire. Okay, I like that. Fire is destructive. I like you, uh, I like you already. I'm gonna send you into the army. And we're gonna get rid of this guy. Because we don't need him anymore, and that gives us more money. Um, because I don't believe that they'll attack right away again. Uh, let's keep doing the reassuring presence. And start recruiting. I would like to have some more swordsmen for crowd control. Maybe two more. And these guys have shields, so that is good. Uh, wow, look at the replenishment. Then It's like... We're not getting a lot of replenishment in. Like, not a lot of replenishment at all. Maybe if we put him in a uh, fort. Oh yeah, that's better. That's they definitely better. You know what, before we do that, let's get a bit closer. Uh, we can't. We, we can't We can't get out of this uh, this stance, it seems. Oogie, oogie, fine. Now, two turns until we get a population surplus. Does that mean that we... Because getting this up to level 3 might be more important than getting this up to level 2. But we need more... We need growth. We need a lot of growth. I don't know. Let's end the turn. Undercity discovered. 
We have discovered a skaven undercity below our settlement. We must act fast and spend the money required to destroy these foul beings before they become more than a mere nuisance. Alrighty, we will try. We will try. I don't know how much money this is going to cost us. We have money. We have quite a bit of money, to be honest. But if we don't have to spend it, I'd rather not spend it. But let's take a look at that right away. Yeah, we have 9k. That's good. Uh, okay. So these are the events. I think the Imperial Authority is very, very, very important because things can spiral spiral out of control very quickly. We have the prestige to do it. So let's just arrange the tour. Uh, I'm not going to read all these out loud. Uh, you can just pause the video and read it yourself if you like. Uh, sometimes I will read them out loud if they think they are very special, but I think, I, I, I think we'll get a lot of these. So let's arrange a tour. And let's check that Skaven on the city real quick. Oh, it's only 750. That's right. Clan Mulder. I don't know. I don't know all these clans, but... I don't know. Goodbye. Okay, this is level 2 now, meaning we can upgrade this. We also want to have more growth, and it would also be good to have some money or some trade goods. So... Eventually, we, we can't do this yet. Um, we need to level the uh, the thing up first, but eventually it would be really good to have a gunsmith so we can get some mortars. And what are they called? Hellstorm rocket batteries. I want some of these. I've played around with them. They are really satisfying. They are really satisfying. And then we have these Hellblaster volley guns. I don't, I don't, I have played around with these as well. I found them less satisfying, but I think they're stronger. Missile strength. 750 missile yeah there we go they're they're about twice as strong more so actually but they might take a longer time to reload or something i don't know oh they have less range yeah look at the range difference and the 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 important thing about range here is that we can thin their numbers before they uh their accuracy is bad though but we can thin their numbers before they before they arrive and then we'll finish them off with these uh with the um We'll finish them off with the uh, handgunners, and we'll we'll do crowd control where needed. Uh, but for now, I think it would be good to... Do we need public order? I don't think we need public order. I think income would be good. Yeah, we don't really need to do this at the moment, because we already have a wizard. But at some point, it would be really good to have more wizards. But we can also recruit them from here, and then... I think once we get there, I think this would be better to have. For now, let's go with money, because uh, we can always use more money, right? Ready. Ready. In the name Goodly. of Magnus. Attack. Let's go for Uber Strike. Ulrich's will. Okay, so this is going to be a decisive victory. Casualties are going to be low. I don't think we have to uh, play this manually, although we we will lose one unit, so we might want to play it manually. Um, le okay, let's do it. They're 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 too weak. We don't want to take the risk. Not right now. Not right now. We are at the start of the campaign. I think that um, I think that the start of the campaign is going to be the most important in any campaign. By the way, uh, whether you're playing Troy or or Attila or whatever. And for those of you that that have been watching my Troy Let's Play, we did make a mistake at the start with the um, reliability rating, the trustworthiness of uh, Odysseus, and ah, oh, it it became a pain in the uh, pain in the behind at some point. Sorry, almost uh, said a bad word there. And I'm trying to prevent that on the channel. But uh, yeah, that becomes uh, that becomes annoying. It becomes a nuisance. Like, really. Okay, so now we have winds. Winds of magic. And then we have to click start deploy. It's always confusing to me. But a lot of things are confusing to me. I have been uh, very comfortable with being confused. I've grown comfortable in that. Okay, so... Um, Let's just set up as we usually do, but maybe go for a checkerboard or something. Uh, but I think we'll just do something like this. We don't have any artillery yet, which is a shame. I'd love to get some artillery on our hands. Uh, these guys, we'll send them over here. These guys will be sent over to here. They shouldn't be on the field today. Uh, these guys will be at the flank, and then these guys will be at the flank as well. Um, France will be here, but you, if we don't have to use you, we'll, we won't use you. Okay, there's no vanguard deployment for these guys. It's all right. So you have a fireball, and I believe fireballs are good. Um, let's do some scouting though, because I wow, look at this. It's like just just look at it. They've done such a beautiful job doing the environments. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. 
Okay, I don't think they're going to be moving, to be honest. I think they're just going to sit there and wait until we make uh, until we make some mistakes. So while they're doing that, may well actually maybe we can bait them out by um, shooting some fireballs at them. Do they have a lord? I don't see a lord. These are all melee units. Um, okay, you know what? We have magic. You have nothing. No, no, no. Ah, damn it, that was too late. Sorry. Okay, if they're just gonna sit there, I'm fine with that. We'll just keep blasting fireballs at them. Yeah. Kaboom! Yeah, there they go. That was to be expected. Okay, go back. Back, 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 back. Move. Hopefully they're not faster than we are. Didn't didn't really check. Ready, let's move. Oh, he is under attack. Uh, is it a Huntsman? It might be a Huntsman General. Which could be very bad, in this case. But I don't think he'll be able to take down the, uh, to take down the Wizard. The Spellcaster, sorry. No, he is a Wizard. He is a Wizard. It says it clearly at the top. Wizard. Read, Primus, read. Okay. You can just stand over here. At some point we'll turn around and we'll blast another Fireball at them. Fireball to the face. There they are. Let's get Red Day. We can actually hit them. Let's do it. Okay. I want to see this come in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, here come the arrows. I'd like to see some more arrows, please, guys. Are you not firing at will? What are you doing? Oh, those are the crossbows, right? How about now? Very good. Okay, I, I, I'd love to, I'd love to stay here, but um, I do think we. Need, oh, victory is in our grasp already. Great. Okay, let's send these guys to take them. Let's send uh, these guys forward as well to take them. Maybe you to take them. You have another fireball. You have another fireball. Let's just uh, throw it at these guys because they might pose a problem at some point. Okay, and we missed because of the bloody fence. Ugh. And it didn't even burn. It didn't even... Uh... <laughs> okay, well, it's right. It's right. Okay, they're retreating. That's great. How about we have these guys fire at them for a bit? Uh, they're all retreating as well. That's great. Let's fire at them. And you might be able to fire at them. So let's do that. Let's have them fire there. And do we need to do anything else over here? Not really. We have these guys. They're not really doing a good job, to be honest. There's the timer. Let's shut you up. There we go. And I think we got them already, uh, guys. Yeah, I think we got them already. That's got to be it, right? Maybe their Huntsman is still out there. Stay here, guys. Hello? Oh, they're shaking. Let's stir them. Ah, fine. Okay, yeah, that's that's going to be enough. Good, bye-bye. Where's the bloody Huntsman General? Because I think he's the problem at the moment. Or maybe they are the problem. Okay, wait. How about a fireball to the face? Stay away, stay away, stay away. Hot, hot. It's gonna be hot. Let's try this again. Okay, so what it what is the problem today? I don't know. Get out. Just get out. Go away. Get off the field. Okay. I believe there is a huntsman general on the prowl. Let's see if we can find that guy. There he is. There he is. Jeez. Everybody. How about a shot? Shoot him in the face. Please. Ah, damn it. They move. Keep moving. Let's find that guy. 
Got him. He's probably not going to like this. I think he's pretty weak when it comes to uh, fighting Empire Knights. And we just have to break his morale. We don't have to kill him. We just have to break him. Oh, he did a, a special there, didn't he? Yeah, we're doing all right. We can kill him, though. Is this going to hurt our own units? I think it is. What are you doing? Yeah, he doesn't want to want to get into friendly fire, it seems. It's fine. Let's see if we can kill him, though, because uh, I think if we kill the enemy lord, we get more rewards. So, getting more rewards is always good. We need money, we need... Uh, we need money and replenishment and all that good stuff, so... And this is the first victory for our wizard as well, which can uh, now level up a bit. And we need him to level up. We also need a horse. We need to get him on a horse, because uh, he needs to be fast. Man, I'm already excited to have, like, this wizard who can just... You know, traverse the battlefield on horseback, who's really fast, just casting spells everywhere. That's something I really, really uh, want to see in Warhammer 2, and I think that's what we'll get to see. So, yeah, I, uh, I can't wait until we get there. The problem is, I probably won't have, like, <laughs> I probably won't have the skill to micromanage that and manage the army at the same time. This is where you want to play this with two people, right? So you'll give one person the wizard, and this one person can just focus on casting spells and wreaking havoc. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. But yeah, it's... um. I think we are on to a good start here. But right now I'm still... I, right now I still kind of know what I'm doing, because I've done it before. But uh, there will be a situation... There will be a time where I just don't know what to do. Because um, I haven't... I haven't been there yet, basically. I also haven't seen it. And I don't really want to see it. I'm not going to go to somebody else's YouTube channel and check how to do this. Because um, that's part of the experience, right? It's part of uh, part of learning and growing and just doing awesome stuff. Okay, we ta we've so, taken Ubersreich. Um, so we should get rid of this building because we already have it over here. Now, the only reason Vacation we'd like to have another one is to, I believe, get more um, captains. Let's go for Iron Disciplinarian. Because we can't do another attrition one. Uh, I think I think we should. I, th I think we should just go down the spell chain right now, and if we can get a war horse, we should get a war horse. But oh, immortality! Yes, please. It's level twenty though. That's going to take a long time. Let's give him a better fireball. Okay, so cooldown minus twenty percent and overcast spell. I don't know how to overcast. I'll have to figure that out. I'll figure it out. Alrighty guys, we are going to call it quits here. Hope you enjoyed this first episode and I hope you are as excited for this campaign as I am because I am bloody excited to get into Warhammer. And right now we are playing as the Empire, but uh, maybe maybe if I enjoy this campaign I'll start playing as other factions as well. But there will always be a historical Total War on the channel as well and I only have so much time, so uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. But I am very excited to get into the next episode and see what that brings us. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to catch you on the next. Alrighty, bye-bye.